Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at another of these older, long discontinued Batat figures. One of the many that we kind of are hoping and keeping our fingers crossed that Terabyte Batat releases currently. But this older Batat Triceratops is one of the best figures I think in the line overall. It really is a fantastic looking Triceratops. Everything from the sculpt to the paint application I absolutely love. So let's go ahead, we'll get a closer look at this right now and enjoy the overall beauty of this wonderful Triceratops. So starting up here at the head sculpt of the Triceratops, you can see the overall detailing of the head sculpt it looks really, really quite nice. You have a nicely sculpted out nostril along with some pretty darn nice detailing around the nostril. You can see quite a bit of detailing within the horns of the Triceratops as well. Looks really cool. If the Batat line would have utilized a dark wash on their figures at some point, I think the horns would have looked quite excellent with the detail that is included. You can see the mouth is ever so slightly open, and you can see the tongue inside the mouth a little bit there. However, they haven't actually painted the tongue inside the mouth any color other than the color that is on the beak of the Triceratops. But you can see that the beak actually sports some really nice cracks and crevices and really nice detail within as well. Beautiful, sharp-looking beak right there. That looks super super nice the detail around the eye as well looks pretty darn good you've got an orange eye with a black pupil and that is fairly nicely painted on both sides it's a little sloppy i feel like the orange is just a little too widespread there in the eye area but it doesn't look bad by any means as you move up into the frill you can see that really nice detailing continues you have kind of like some scoots those typical trademark triceratops style scoots that run along the frill in certain areas it looks quite nice and you also have a beautiful blue that kind of shows up quite nicely and it's a very realistic appearance I think somehow managing to make blue look super realistic on a Triceratops in comparison to the brown that is the rest of the animal but I think they've done a very good job not only on the color choices but also on the way it's applied it is applied quite naturally and you also have the spikes that run along the rim of the frill of the Triceratops that's probably the sloppiest area, I think, on this figure as far as the paint application goes because they didn't paint each one individually like I would have preferred. It's just kind of all over the place and somewhat sloppy looking paint. And you can really get a good idea of that by looking at it from behind. They didn't paint them individually. They just kind of ran paint over them. So it does tend to look a little bit sloppy, but I guess it could be worse. At least it isn't run down onto the frill for the most part. I think the skull shape of the Triceratops overall looks really, really nice beautifully done on the part of Batat. As we move back here into the neck, you can see quite a bit of wrinkling going on there in the neck, along with, in general, some decent skin movement being shown. The back of the frill also sports some really beautiful detailing of the skin texture in the rear of the frill. I think that looks great right there, and I love how the blue kind of runs up and circles around like the center of the frill. That looks really nice. And then once we get back here again, you get this like blue striping, and it's primarily just a brown coloration. There's no real difference on the underside or anything, so there isn't too much paint involved or included in the figure, and that's kind of typical of Batat figures even now with the Terra by Batat line. It's always that same style of paint where there's not really too much put into it, but I think what is included does look quite nice. And the overall paint application they chose also is a really nice touch for a Triceratops. Moving down here into the legs, you can take note kind of to the shoulder blade a little bit there. You can really see some beautiful movement shown with the skin reacting to the way the legs are positioned, with the skin bunching up there and there for the front and back legs kind of pushing into the skin of the body. Very nice sculpt work right there. Beautiful creasing in the front leg there in the joint of the elbow as well. You can sort of make out the elbow back there. Moving down into the foot sculpt of the Triceratops, you can see some nicely painted nails. And they do include a gloss coat on the nails, so it looks fairly realistic. Moving back here, you can again see some really nice detailing of the skin the whole way up the thigh of the leg. You also have the hip bone right there. The hip bone is quite nicely elaborated from the skin. Really nice skin texture as we move down the rear leg. You have the kneecap present right there. Beautifully defined calf muscle. It's nice and flexing as the Triceratops is apparently putting weight on that leg. As you move down into the foot sculpt, it also looks quite nice with the painted nails looking pretty good as well. Again, in the rear foot. And then coming back up here into the tail, you've got some nice creasing going on here in the skin right behind the thigh. Kind of showing the skin stretching off of the body as that leg is pulling forward. 
And the tail looks really good as well, nice and short, like we would expect on a Triceratops. Looking at this side, again, you can see some of the nice creasing going on in the neck. Coming back here into the legs, you can get a good sense of the musculature here and the muscle tone of the front leg there as it's stepping down. You've got that beautiful foot sculpt as well. Nice detailing, once again, of kind of some skin wrinkling and skin stretching off of the body here. And when it comes to the way the legs are positioned and the way the skin would be reacting to the movement of the Triceratops, you've got some really nice work as far as the scales go throughout the stomach region. And you can really see that as I turn it right here. The scaling of the stomach looks exceptional as far as I'm concerned. You might see some dust on mine as mine's just kind of been sitting in a box. So he's a little dusty and uh, needs a good cleaning at some point. But... You can see, again, the blue stripes that run down are really nice and naturally applied. They look very realistic. They don't in any way, shape, or form look like paint on a figure. It straight up looks like skin color, and I really do love that about this figure. Coming back here into the thigh, again, you've got that very large, nice hip bone sticking out up there. The super huge thigh right here. As we come down into the leg, you've got a really nice calf muscle once again. Beautiful foot sculpt with the really nicely painted nails with a nice gloss included, just like every foot has shown so far. You can also see the ankle and everything sculpted out quite beautifully there. And then coming back into the tail once again, it looks very good as far as the skin texture and the overall sculpting of the tail looks very, very nice. You do have a cloaca here on the underside for that extra bit of realism. And you can see that the sculpt and detail on the underside as well does look really quite nice, especially here in the chest and throat region. That skin is reacting quite beautifully as far as the way it's sculpted and portrayed. So this Triceratops, as far as I'm concerned, is awesome. As far as the size goes on our Triceratops, from the tail to the tip of the horns, you're looking at roughly around the 7.5 inch range or about 19 centimeters. And for a height, you're going to see it at about 3 inches tall to the top of the frill or around the 7.5 to 8 centimeter area for a size comparison. There is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the attack pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon next to our Triceratops. Showing you that the figure is definitely a smaller figure. As far as the Batat line goes, they were always, for the most part, fairly small figures, except for the Diplodocus was quite large. You did also have the Acrocanthosaurus and Tyrannosaurus, which were a little bit larger, but for the most part, a lot of the Batat figures follow this same similar size range. Now, I knocked over poor Muldoon. The same similar size range as they were fairly small figures, but at the same time, I don't think they were too small or anything, and they do pack quite a bit of detail into such a small sculpt, so very, very impressive for sure in every way is this Triceratops. So this Batat Triceratops is an absolutely beautiful rendition of the species. I think Batat did a tremendous job on this figure for its time. It is wonderful looking as far as the sculpt especially when it comes to kind of portraying the movement of the skin reacting to the movement of the body. It's really nicely done. They definitely did a great job of capturing every detail that should be occurring with this Triceratops at this point in time with the movement that is portrayed. I think they've really nicely shown all of that throughout the sculpt. The pose is also quite nice, kind of has its head down like maybe it's about to charge at something, maybe another Triceratops. Or maybe a predator, who knows, but it definitely does have a very nice, almost like a defensive type of a pose where maybe it's about to charge, like I had said. So I do like the pose, I do like the sculpting and the detailing of the figure overall. The paint application as well is quite nice. It's something that, again, blue on a Triceratops, I would not have expected to work quite so well. Maybe up on the frill a little bit but not so much on the body, but Batat actually pulled it off really, really nicely, and I am a big fan of the overall paint scheme of the figure. Again, it would have been nice if the Batat figures included a little more paint to their figures, a little bit more of a detailed paint, but I think for this figure alone, as far as the actual paint application, it's one of the best looking paint applications for the Batat line, especially if you take into consideration a lot of the newer ones kind of have like a thicker paint to them so they don't look quite as realistic, whereas this one, the blue stripes are actually quite nicely done. They're not overly thick. They do look like they're part of the body color. They don't look like paint on a figure. So I think the overall application of the paint of this one is a lot more natural and a lot more nicer than you see in a lot of the newer figures, except for the frill. The Little horns that run along the frill are a little bit sloppily painted, and the paint is definitely added on there a little bit too thick, I would say. But 
other than that area, for the most part, I feel like the paint application is quite nicely done. The Triceratops is a very nice looking figure, very appealing, and quite striking overall as far as the sculpt and paintwork goes. So if you would like to pick one of these up, unfortunately, as I stated earlier in the review, they are long discontinued, so they tend to be a bit pricier to get a hold of. But I will do my best to try to find a link to add in the description to where you can pick one up on eBay, although the price will probably be a little bit more than most people would want to pay for something like this. But I can tell you that once you do get a hold of this figure, it's a really, really beautiful figure to add to your collection. It's definitely worth the hunt. That is for sure. So make sure you pick this up at some point. Make sure you check the description in case I have a link. And also make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.